Well, hey guys, I'm Toothless, the 37-year-old gamer, bringing you a new video. And we're going to talk about the VPR. Now, you guys know that a few days ago, on the 19th, the VPR got some buffs. Some major buffs. In fact, it is the most OP gun in the game right now for Infinite Warfare, I would think. That and the Exion or the Xenon, or whatever it's called. But those two weapons right now, the DLC weapons, are ridiculously outnumbering every other gun that they put in Infinite Warfare. Now, if you look on the screen right now, you can see that they've put some five, about five buffs to the VPR, and, well, everybody in the world is using it in the gameplay. So much so that I had to make a video of it, because I think it's OP, to a point. Now, if you guys didn't know, today, it got a little nerf. Actually, it probably didn't even get a nerf. Only thing they did was slow down the magazine reload. And they also, one thing they didn't put on the, the nerf was that they lowered the magazine size from 108 down to 72. Now, I'm playing the game all the time. I'm getting killed by the VPR. And especially when you're trying to get black sky camo, it is very tough to compete against these this gun this gun in particular and I've been trying to go for snipers and right now I'll show you guys a few clips of me trying to snipe and the only thing I'm getting killed by is the VPR it's been ridiculous now does the VPR need to be nerfed it did get a, not even a nerf it didn't get nerfed I would say it didn't get nerfed I say the only thing it needs to do is the distance needs to change now, I had some great, I mean, I had some footage of where I shot guys all across the map, probably outbeating the K-Bar and other MVR, whatever else that's, that's out there as an assault rifle, and I'm beating them out long range. And it needs a little bit more recoil. So I think it needs a little nerf, but guys, it reminds me of the Vesper in Black Ops 3. The Vesper, you remember how when they did the nerf for the Vesper, how OP it was? Like, it had no recoil. The guy, the gun was shooting a million bullets at once. It was the same thing as the VPR. He has two uh, barrels shooting twice as many bullets at the same time. It's like it's the same thing as the Vesper to me. And the nerf that they did to both weapons were OP. And then Black Ops Three, they nerfed it, gave it a little bit more recoil, can't kill as far as long range. And I think that's what they need to do with the VPR. Now, my question is to you guys: Is that do you think the VPR? is perfect the way it is other than for maybe the couple of things i said the distance uh damage and also maybe a little bit more recoil and they need to buff all the other guns most of the other guns just say or you think that the vpr needs to be nerfed more and keep the rest of the guns the same so you guys have to leave it down in the comment section let me know what you guys think of the VPR is it is it too OP? Are you guys noticing that everybody in the game is using the VPR or the Exion or Xeon, whatever the name is? I mean, I don't know, you guys. You guys gotta have to let let me know. But I know for a fact right now, I'm struggling <laughs> to get black camo or black guy sky camo just because of the VPR. Because I mean, I'm just getting wrecked. I mean, it's, I'm trying to shoot long range. Is you know understandable, but it's like everybody. I notice everybody is using it. So guys, let me know down in the comment section, and I'll, I'll be making another video here real soon. Just so guys, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned. Next video is going to be about the biggest mistake Infinite Warfare made. So anyways, guys, I'm caught toothless. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys real soon. See ya.